Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome back to another actual Let's Play presented by Dungeon Doo Productions. If you don't know my voice, my name is Brandon. I'm the DM for the Dungeons and Doofuses podcast, amongst other things. And uh, we're playing Alan Wake today. Hello, Lobla Mata, huh? Have I ever told the story of how I got that name or how I chose the name? Hold on, let me see where we're at. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. This is straight up trippy. Okay, so La Blamataha. So I was, this is back in the, okay, so I'm getting coffee. Um, Back in the day of RuneScape, you know, coffee you had to come song. up with a. Uh, Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. I had multiple accounts. Like I'd have an account doing pest control, an account doing scaling and. Like I, sur I surmised everyone else was doing. But anyway, um, I needed an account name. Actually, I think this was for Puzzle Pirates. This is a different game I was playing. I needed a really cool name. And uh, all the really cool names were taken. I was like, man, how am I going to create this really cool name? So I was like, OK, I'm going to take all these syllables. And I don't know why I started with law, but I was just like law. Blah. Oh, hey, Ma. I just finished those cover mock ups. Hold on, I was talking. Know. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them. There's some coffee. coffee. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Okay, as I was oh, saying. Really? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm not done yet. You seem to think so last night. Oh, shut up. Okay, as I was saying, I was going through syllables. I was like, la, blah, ma, da, ha. And I was like, huh. Lobblemadaha. That's the greatest name ever. So now that's my name now. Lobblemadaha. Lobblemadaha. And you know, if you don't know the backstory, it sounds really stupid. But it's definitely not stupid. It's incredibly creative. What is this? The closet? Okay, you don't have anything in your closet. This is a cool house, dude. Okay. But anyway, yeah, that's the username. Loblamadaha, the best username ever. Time to look at the mock-ups. Examine? My books. Are these the mock-ups? <gasps> Manuscript. These look really good. They do. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Wait. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Oh, jeez. Please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. What are you Please crippling? Hurry. Crippling fear of the dark. Oh no. Oh, this is the fuse box. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. As I was saying, apparently she okay? really doesn't like the publicist. I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Yeah, Don't the dark worry. sucks. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. The dark? I love you. How do you sleep at night? Sorry, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. This the old clicker, light switch? Huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip. Oh, come on, dude. Light would scare the monsters away. Come on, sure. man. Really? Here it is. Alan. I still <laughs> have it. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. Click the clicker. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Okay. That's a nice place, you know? Look at that. We got a great spot. Bright Falls. The present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation? I'm trying to remember where Bright Falls is. Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? <laughs> like I'm losing my mind? Okay, my head's fine. No, it's not. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. 
He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. Is the camera shaky? You should take it easy for Does me. it feel like it's shaky for me, at least? Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. Look at these phenomenal graphics. Look at this. You should come see me. No, well, I'm never coming on, back. Then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker uh. is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. What was my wife's name? Was it Sarah? Is she secretly my wife? Because she looks just like my wife. How do I run? I don't remember how to run this game. Or actually, it won't let me run. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go explore the police station. Ah, uh, fuse box. What do you want me to read? Is there something over here you want me to read? What am I reading? Oh. Uh. Missing people? Oh, there's a bunch of missing people. No, this one. Knack for winning contest. What? This doesn't seem real. Maybe they're trolling me. No, it's locked. Another missing poster. There's a lot of missing posters out here. I was waiting for you in her office down the corridor. I'm busy. That was Cynthia Weaver. Okay. Yes, you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um other things these days. What 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 was the thingy? What did you want me to click? Examine. Examine. What am I examining? But what is it? I just want to know now. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay. The Let's sheriff decide. wants to see you in her office, Mr. Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. Am I dumb? Where's the office? <laughs> Definitely in the parking lot. Okay, it's not over here. Where's the heck's the office? That's not it. Sit down the hall. Oh, sheriff's office. There's a sign. I'm dumb. Wait, this is the okay. I'm dumb. I thought this was the same room I just came from. Mr. Wake, your yeah. phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Wow. Thank you for charging my phone. Nice office. You have anything? Look around. Look around. Your look phone, around. Mr. Look around. Wake? Nope. I'm busy. I saw something. Oh, it's to pick up my cell phone. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not no. sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse it's me. It's the killer. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Hey, hey, Mister. No. Hey, you turn the light. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't. Hey, hey, you. Can you yeah, I got you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. Hey, bud. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell Can I turn the light off? <laughs> oh, why'd you do that for? You with them. Oh, space aliens? Okay, the dude. morning light hurt my eyes and made my headache. The wow. Said, Go through the fence on the left. On the left. Which way was left? Wait. Oh man, I forgot to focus. Now I gotta figure out which way is left. I'm looking for a giant hole in a fence. Ah, thermos. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign off. Why do they keep locking their doors?
Oh, that's right. I'm going to just jump over the fence. Wait, where am, where am I looking? I can see him in the junker. I got to get through the fence. What am I doing? Ah, yes. Another manuscript. So look at me go. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. How did he know? Ow, ow, thank God. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow, what the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, come on. You can't just put this here and not let me grab it. Whatever. Really, dude, you can't jump over that? Oh, easy mode. I like the radio. Oh, now we're walking. Oh, hey, dude. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Uh, nope. Dark Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did that sounds nice. My wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Ooh, I like Barry. Barry's all right. Bye, y'all. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? Is she the later from the diner? Lady from the diner. I feel like I'm not speaking Jeez, appropriately, swing, properly. Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She is the girl from the diner. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Wait here. Ah. Uh, it's so pretty outside. Easy Knock these boy. chairs over. Almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Oh, no. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Shut up, Barry. You shot a guy and his body just disappeared? You don't understand, Barry. I can't access the first aid? Well, that sucks. When's the last time you slept? 
Are you high? It doesn't Are matter, crazy? Barry. No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, you can't Bye, just dude. go and meet We're a here. kidnapper. <laughs> situations always end up in disaster. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Yeah, that's kind of important. Tell me how to get to Lover's Peak. Nature Trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Is that a nice spot to take your lover? If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio map. Dang it. It's right below that. Okay. Thank you. Now I'm leaving. You gotta talk to the cop. Come on, Barry. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Oh, no, wait. I want to drive. Oh, come on, man. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a gun. Whoa, power baby. move, dude. I'm going Bless to Lover's you. Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody Why is it always dark everywhere I go? All over again. Dude, why are you sneezing? Ooh, another thermos. Like, they are just giving these away. Do I have less batteries than before? Oh, good. Turn off all the lights. I definitely feel like I have less batteries than before. All right. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Can somebody help me? All right, great. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold Bye, Barry. I'm going the right way. Someone's leaving my manuscript on the ground. I thought I saw something over here. I was wrong. I knew I should have gone to the cops. Nope. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. It definitely I'm is. I'm still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Dude, are you tired? Oh, there's the lights again. Oh, okay. I was worried something was wrong. Oh, it's those stupid birds that are going to destroy me. There's something in here. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the ah. What's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> okay, well, this is pointless. That's a really nice little uh, seating area. This is super nice. Where the heck am I going? All right. Oh, good. Another cabin. Dude, why are you so tired? Oh, is your RV? Oh, heck yeah. I can't get in. Oh, I can't get in. No, I can't. Oh, they blocked. I can't get in. What about the cabin? All these cabins are surprisingly empty. Okay. I think this is what they call breaking and entering. Well, I guess it's already broken. The cancer and cure of civilization. The 
but some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in the night. All right, well, that was weird. Oh, a cell phone or phone call. I don't know why a phone. I can't talk y'all. All right, there's a car. Another manuscript. This is most strange. That felt very Bioshocky for a little bit. Are you in? Okay. Can you hear me? Anyone? Is that you? Isn't this where I just came from? Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, dude, you ain't looking good, oh, bud. Hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found came true. <laughs> It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Wait a minute. Was that not the office? Where the heck am I going? Oh, okay. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Whoa. It's so dark in here. I wish somebody told me what I was looking for, because right now I don't know what I'm looking for. This is cool. I was too late. Oh no! Someone destroyed the circuit breaker. Can I take there the axe? No to get the lights back on. Oh jeez. Oh no! They were waiting for me to leave. I ain't scared of you. Okay, I see the blood splatter. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. What? Please <gasps> don't feed the animals. Hello, Rusty. Fishing. Oh, Rusty. Hey, bud. I was worried something was wrong with you. Wait a minute. Oh, now they're... Wait a minute. To remove any virtual objects or historical items from the park. Well, I've killed two men today. Oh, really? I need to go to Lover's Peak. I need to go meet my lover. Uh, speaking of Lover's Peak, which has nothing to do with Lover's Peak, it just reminded me of this. Um, the uh, one of my favorite podcasts is the Magic Tavern. I love from the Magic Tavern, and uh, the Lover's Peak reminds me of Makeout Point. 
Well, hold on. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Um, anyway. Yeah, so make out point where two people go to uh, make out point. And uh, if they're truly meant to point, meant to be, excuse me, they will both make it out alive. Uh, but each person has to say who gets to make it out alive at the end. If they don't make it, I guess, is the way it works. Love and uh, far end of the nature trail. Anyway, one of the main characters, uh, Chunt, always has his name said by himself and his guest. So he always makes it out of make out point while whereas his guest always dies. I don't know why I find that very funny. Oh, come on. I'm just like I'm using my dodge. What? What? Dude, why are you like jogging? OK, you know what? We're not playing this game. Oh, did I just miss? Can't tell if I'm hitting. But clearly, I wasn't hitting. But yeah, this is really funny to me. The idea, you know, you get to make out point, and uh, unfortunately, only one person actually makes it out. Unless you're meant to be, then you both make it out. But as of yet, that has not happened. All right, where I love her speak is this way. It's a good thing that I went off running in the middle of a storm. The great old one. Excuse me. Is he? Man, that took forever. Oh, low battery? Insert battery. Really, dude? I wanted to look at this tree. Great old one felled by lightning. Oh, wow. It actually did, you know, fall, die. I mean. Oh, there's too many. Good thing I got that run going again. Oh, now I get the dodge. You just start hitting the button randomly. You'll dodge out of the way. Oh, geez. All right. Come on, you gotta get to the light, dude. Oh, come on now. I'm right there. No! No freaking way. All right, we're trying this again. They got me that last time. They got me stuck underneath the light. I thought I was gonna be safe, and then I got stuck, and I couldn't do anything, and I just died. It sucked. But not this time. I'm gonna stop you guys on the bridge. Oh, they come in. Oh, wait. I already knew this, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I knew they were coming. Wait, what happened to my shotgun? I gotta refine my shotgun? This sucks. All right. No, those were the guys that cornered me. You guys suck. Whatever. Ah, manuscript. A telephone? Interesting. Oh, an axe. The handy axe, man. I don't know. A crow. Cool, I got a checkpoint. Is it saving? Because I'm really angry at the game and would like to quit now, please. 
Where did all the fog come from? All right, come on, X-Men. Okay, there's two of them. There's more than two of them. Good thing I got a bunch of light to go around. All right, yeah, he's the, uh, ooh. What? Wait, what? Oh, whoops. All right, there we go. Wait, I want to go to the, the souvenir shop. Lover's Peak, let's go through the tree. What's over here? I really want to know what's over here. Oh, cool. You knew you would tempt me with this sign. Okay. I got the thermos. Is that it? Oh, y'all be trolling. I really wanted that thermos, though, I guess. All right, I'm leaving now. Bye, guys. It's been fun. I'll come back soon. Oh, can somebody open this for me? Oh, yeah. Go over the side. The manuscript. Interesting. Whoa. I don't want to fall to my death. Okay. Hi. This is kind of nice. You was terrifying. Sky lifts. They're truthfully terrifying. Being so far above the ground. Um, can I get on this, please? Have I just broken the game? Yeah, I don't like sky lifts. I actually don't like anything that makes me, uh, Shit. that, yes, that right there. The fact that the door just opens up. Nope. Oh, what? No, come on now. I mean, that's about as well as I, well, excuse me, I can't talk. That went about as well as I could have expected it to go. No, not my flashlight. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Hello, Ranger Tom. That flashlight's kid stuff. I mean, the okay. Keep the bastards away. That's kind of harsh, dude. I mean, there's supplies, Al. Grab Did the supplies. Hell, of course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Oh, you need me to do the flashlight stuff. Oh, my flashlight's low. Come on, help me, bro. All right, I'm going over here. I'll see you later, dude. Oh, it's locked. Help me. Ranger Tom. Lover's Peak, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the Oh, gun. you can't be serious, dude. Yeah. No can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. How? Is this a joke? 
All right, well. Good thing they don't notice me. Yeah, run away from my flare. Oh, wait. Ha! Oh, be scared of my flare. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Dude, you keep saying that. Look at my flare. Oh, follow. Okay, so for sure, this is the kidnapper. We're like fully convinced in this. Like, there's no going back. Oh, wait, I can't leave? Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Oh, okay, there we go. Entering Lover's Peak. Heck yeah. Oh, good, a light. I need the heal. Let's look at the map because I ignored this. Uh, I can't read it. It's too small. This is it, Wake. The Good, we made it. There. More flares here. Get ready. We All right. As long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Ow, dude. Wait a minute. The flare. Why am I defending this? Like, did anybody actually tell me what I'm doing? Like, I'm not sure I know what I'm doing right now. You know? How much ammo do you have, dude? Oh, a thermos. I need the thermos. What, are they coming from behind? I mean, I'll be back. I just need the thermos real quick. Can I just grab this? I'll be right back. Right back. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it would help if I actually aimed. I mean, I would really like it if you gave me the gun, you know? All right. Oh wait, the flare. I forgot which button's the flare. There we go. Are we done? Are you evil? Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's going to suffer bad. What? <laughs> What's going on? You're going to give me the manuscript or you'll be sorry. Really? No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. He's doing all this and over the manuscript. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. What is this? What? Oh, that's all this is? See, there's no point to this because, like, I just lose this in the next scene. Whatever. All right. Wait. Is there something over here? No. I'm just dumb. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Alright. 
I'm going to call it there. I just want to say thank you again for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you like the video and even if you didn't, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment, leave a review. Check out the show notes for all the content we're producing here at Dungeon Duke Productions. Uh, until next time, please do take it easy.